Stephanie coming to you today with another video. I know the space looks different. You're not used to this background. You're not used to the close-up. Well, actually, no, you're used to it. You see, if you see the, if you saw the shoe haul, you're here. <laughs> but this video is going to be focusing on some personal care and I want to say more spa products. Um, that I use and that I've actually acquired recently. So, if you want to know what I'm using on this body, <laughs> stay tuned. into this showcase. So this dresser, armoire, um, whatever you want to call it, it is my perfume table. Um, I love it. Of course, it's very cluttered with products right now, but I have two perfume stands and my um, roses and my little Prada Milan sign art above it. And it's just one of those little cute spaces up here. Um, I am in my beauty slash bedroom slash closet room. So that being said, I am doing a haul on some recent products that I've even, that I've um, either purchased or some of my ride or dies that I just wanted to showcase you guys. So this is a small collection. If you're interested in seeing more of the things I use for self-care, uh, some of my spa moments, things like that, make sure you let me know in the comments below. Uh, first and foremost, this video is sponsored by Karma Treats. Karma Treats is a natural skin care, body care line. Oh my God, they have the ama they have the most amazing body butters. Just oh, they smell so good. It's hard to choose. Um, I will be showing you them. Um, well, the one I have and a couple ones that are my favorite because I've he sampled a few of them too. Um, the second thing I'll show you from Karma Treats is a face soap. And there's another one she has out I really want to try too. I'm going to order that. Um, but it is a black owned business. It is a small business. So please, if you feel inclined to support any of these products, consider her. Um, I met the owner. She's wonderful. She's sweet and she's super supportive and you just want to support people who are doing good things. And plus, it's not like her products or something. I don't just support anyone just because you're doing something. I support people who I believe in and I support people whose products I will use eventually or I will use or it's going to bring something to my life. So that being said, I'm not going to recommend anybody who I don't like point period blank um some people have already said on my channel that oh my god you're so honest yes i am because this is my thing no brand is perfect none no brand is perfect you are always going to find a flaw here and a flaw there and sometimes those flaws are just flaws because they're flaws and then sometimes those flaws are flaws because they're not even flaws they are they don't work with you everything won't work for everybody so i think that's why the youtube space is so important because with my clothing hauls you can see how it fits on my body if you have my body or somebody who doesn't have my body you can kind of see how it will fit on you know yourself if you look like me and you're like you know what it didn't fit that good on stephanie so but i have a smaller chest or i have bigger hips and that's gonna be bomb on me that's what it's there for. Same thing with skincare products um, or beauty products. So anyway, I'm rambling. Like I said, this video is sponsored by Karma Treats. I'll have her information at the end of the video and in the description box. So the first thing I want to talk about is bath products. Um, so I'm going to start with, um, let's see, these are two new items. So I went to Target the other day, move this candle over just a little bit. Um, I went to Target the other day and I saw these products by June, um, June 
times moon or june and moon and these are the bubbling bath fizz and then the um, sugar scrubs cubes so they're like little cubes and you use them as a sugar scrub on your body and these were about eight dollars a piece i want to say i'll link them below and then the scent is champagne y'all this smells like champagne and prosecco that's the best way i can uh, it smells so good like hints of grapefruit juice champagne prosecco oh my god this smells so good just believe me oh and another thing i forgot to mention you're gonna see me in all my out natural because let's be real when you're pampering yourself you are not with a full face of makeup on what you see here is what i look like minus a little bit of brow that's left on because i'm not putting on makeup in this time of uncertainty so you get in the all natural <laughs> so anyway june and moon and i would definitely put it in the description box i highly recommend it it smells so good now um another thing that i got let's see you're gonna stay in the bath section so other things that i use i try to you know use on a regular basis are bath soaks um this is the dr teal's pure epsom salts and this is the melatonin sleep soak with essential oils i love this stuff i keep this on deck if i run low i buy another one this is a pretty full one right now but this is so good. Um, sometimes I have issues sleeping or I'm just wound up from work. I am back at work. There is no quarantine for me. Therefore, it's very stressful managing a business um, in this time because you you already wear so many hats as a manager and Lord Jesus, now it's, it's crazy. So, we, you know, we have the corona. We have the racial injustice that we have been dealing with but has you know flared up again um it's crazy so that being said sometimes i need to just decompress and i love a good hot bath with um my melatonin soap from dr Peels. they have plenty other flavors but right now this is just my um favorite the second one i'm gonna put some of this stuff down on the ground in between because this is so full up here. I don't want to knock anything over. Um, the second one is the Ep Zen E P Z E N by Evo Evodia, Evodia E B O D I A Australia. Um, I picked this up from Marshalls and it was like five ninety nine. I needed more because I fell the other day and that's a whole other story. I feel better today, but for about two days I feel like I was in a car accident. I feel real hard. It was not fun but anyway this one is a premium magnesium bath salt crystals infused with grapefruit bergamot lemon geranium peppermint and basil you guys this smells freaking awesome um i don't know if you're going to be able to find it at your local marshall's um you can try marshall's tj maxx um if not i'm going to search on amazon and see if i can get a link for you um but bath salts oh my god i love having a bath like this is a long hot bath i make me a tumbler full of water or whatever you're drinking that night i try not to do i used to do alcohol but i'm already getting hot from the bath and alcohol just heats me up even more honey to no so i you know every now and again i'll do a glass of wine but right now i'm on keto anyway so wine is not a thing for me and i try to stay away from alcohol and don't do that too much so that being said i'm rambling once again so those are those two um Let's see, we can stay on the path of sugar scrubs. Um, right now, I am, well not even right now, I've been loving Tree Hut sugar scrubs. Um, this is a newer tub, that's why it hasn't been, looked like it's been used. But um, I have, I use it all the time, mostly every day. I can't use it now because I have now a big scab on my elbow from where I fell but I use it on this elbow I have darker elbows and plus I have the little um I forget what they call like strawberry legs those little black um sebum breakouts that you get on your arms sometimes not everybody but I do I know some people do too I forgot the technical name of it um it's by tree these are by tree hut it's the almond and honey one um I love 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 this one it smells so warm and so just inviting 
and then I haven't used this yet but I smelled this at Walmart and purchased this a couple of weeks ago can't wait to get into it. I'm trying to use things one thing at a time but it is the tree hut Moroccan rose shea sugar shrub focus um, this smells delightful I don't even I mean it's you smell the rose but it's very light and lush and it has a little bit of a perfumey smell but at the same time it's it's just feminine I mean that's the best way I can describe it I'm horrible with scents but it's feminine um just pretty like if you shower with that and um I'm not shower with that if you exfoliate with that and then top it off with a really nice cleanser you would smell delicious I'm I just love the scent. So that being said, we're talking about cleansers. Um, I've recently, and this actually goes really good with that Moroccan rolls, and now I'm going to have to pair them together. But this is the Olay Cleansing and Nourishing Hyaluronic Acid Body Wash. This stuff is good, you guys. I love it. Um, it is a very crisp smell. Um, in my opinion, it has like a, slat, a mixture between rose and citrus undertones. It's fresh. It's great for the summertime. I just think this is a really good body wash. Now, I will say this is on the pricey end. Um, I want to say I paid like 8 or $9 at Walmart. You know, Walmart is usually the cheaper of everybody when it comes to shopping for stuff like that. It was about $9 at Walmart. But you know what sold me, you guys? I ain't going to lie. The packaging. The packaging packaging sold me I'm just saying so so that's all my bath items right now um so you get out the bath you towel dry you blot your skin you pat your skin dry nothing aggressive and then you're like hmm let's start the layering and moisturizing process um so I want to show you karma treats mango and coconut body butter you guys you want to smell like a snack this will have you smell like a snack they don't she didn't call this karma treats for nothing you're gonna smell like a treat if you're by yourself you're gonna be smelling yourself if you're if you with the hubby or significant other you're gonna you're gonna he's gonna be like oh girl and you're like yes what you got on don't worry about it <laughs> but though for real so this is the consistency of it it is a really fine whipped shea butter and when I say fine I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand so just to show you so this is how the consistency is right and I'm gonna show you my regular schmegular arm and I'm gonna run now you see how it just disappears it's just melts into your skin you guys do you see that your skin is luminous it is so look at that look look at the sheen girl y'all stop playing i'm telling you she has so many different scents um the first one i try and i i'm in love with it um, it is called, I don't have a full size one of it. It's called cinnamon, cinnamon, blah, the cinnamon bun one. So good. It's edible. It's not edible, but it could be edible. Um, she keeps her, she just has different, you, you're going to find something. And she has some from men too. Yes, yes. Um, so for instance, the ingredients in here are shea butter, mango butter, Cacao butter, coconut oil, vitamin E, black seed oil, almond oil, jojoba oil, essential oils and fragrances. That's it. That's it. With superfection, handmade, you guys. Karma treats. Are you focusing? There you go. Mango and coconut. This is a bomb, I'm telling you. And it just, like I said, it just melts in your skin. Oh my God. Anyway, I'm sorry. When you are 40, you start looking at life a whole nother different way. 
I'm just saying. You start trying to preserve even more. If you were preserving before, you are preserving more now. I'm just saying. Um, as far as another cream I like, I don't know if they make this anymore. But I had been, I have been the Victoria's Secret in forever. But this is the Such a Flirt one. Um, I like this. It's really thick. Um, I don't do it on super hot days, in my opinion. Like I said, it's thick. It's really thick. Um, but I like it. I especially like it after I get like pedicures and stuff like that to really get my feet nice and lubricated because my feet just tend to be dry. That's just part of me. And I go over this with the spray, my body spray. I just love the scent of this. It's really light. Um, so that's Victoria's Secret. I don't know if they make it. If they do, I will put it below. So after you do all your moisturizing of the body, then wash your hands really well using an antibacterial soap. Um, you want to tie your hair up, put a headband on, do what you need to do to get that hair out of your face. And then you want to cleanse your skin. So right now, as far as, and I'm doing more pampering things. So first of all, if you have blackheads, get the, the black um, pore mask that you can get from like Target. You can get the Target brand or the Biore. Those help a lot. Um, so after that, I would definitely put a mask on my face. Um, but this one is Cubella. I have not used it yet, but I felt like I heard somebody say they liked it. It's the Pore Minimizing T-Zone or Full Facial Mud Mask. Contains zinc, rosemary, needle, and or nettle, and vitamin A. So that's what that looks like. Um, when you have big pores, or blackhead issues the first thing to do is extract which would be the pore strips I use it on my, my I get it I get um, they're, they're right here and it just sucks and then I get them sometimes in my on my chin area so after that I always it doesn't have to be this one I always use a mud mask because usually mud masks help draw out the impurities um, then you want to go back in and you want to rinse the mud mask off and you want to cleanse the face so that being said, um, you could do this after the mud mask. Um, I would definitely probably do it on another night, but this right here is my jam. Um, I low-key think they discontinued it. I found me some at Marshall's and I bought all of them. <laughs> No, I didn't buy all of them. I bought like two of them. Um, it's the Ole Hendrickson Transform Instant Transformation Lemon Facial Peel. This is my jam. I feel so... Can you see that? I feel so cleansed. And I feel like my face has a layer that came off. And it brightens. And you can see it immediately after you do this. So it comes with a little brush. I didn't bring it over here. But it comes with a little round moon brush. Um, you want to make sure that's cleansed first. Wiped clean with the paper towel. I would say. Or a non-shedding type of cloth or paper towel. And I would dip it in there. And you, you swipe it on your face. Um, you really want to concentrate on the areas that have texture. For me, my texture is all up in here. Um, and I do get a lot of breakouts down here, but I use it all over my face, but I really want to make sure where the texture is. That's why I use this. Um, it helps increase cell turnover and it is a really light peel. This is not the kind of peel that you can't go to work the next day or wear makeup. Um, I do suggest that you heavily moisturize your face afterwards. If you have drier skin, especially I have oily skin. So what it's going to do is make me extra oily because your skin is like, whoa, what are you doing? I need to I need to do something to moisturize this and that's how it produces oil. So put a good moisturizer on after that and make sure if you're going out like within a day or so, sunscreen is a sunscreen should be a must any every day, but sunscreen definitely after this. Um then after all that is set is said and done, um I would cleanse my face. So I have sensitive skin. Um I filmed this video a little over a month ago and it was so ornate it had this whole it had this whole bathroom experience i wanted to share with you guys but guess what the file got corrupted that being said 
um, <laughs> I decided to refilm it tonight and um, in between that time and now my face started to break out mainly because of the mask that I have to wear on a daily basis um, all my breakouts are here around my mouth and down here um, I know they're supposed to be sanitary I think it's just a matter of your breathing and your breath constantly hitting you back in the face and I don't know my face doesn't like it so it has to be extra clean um, so what I was using and this is I have my other bar in here this is my backup bar and she did and she honestly gave me a sample of this you guys um, so this is not the full size I don't think um, this is the Karma Treats Company all natural face soap this is great for people with sensitive skin. Let me see if that'll focus. Yes. This is good with people with sensitive skin who can't have all those different types of um, chemicals and additives. This is a very simple soap. Um, Lord Jesus, let me see if I can see it. Um, let's see, it does have shea butter, I think. My eyes won't focus. Jesus Christ. Avocado butter, coconut oil, black seed oil, avocado oil, vitamin E, sodium hydroxide. So that's it. That's it. Um, that being said, it's really gentle and it really helped me cleanse my face because it came to a point where all I could really use was this couldn't do anything extra I was at have even having issues with like if I use makeup wipes to get off like the first layer of which I don't do that often anymore I usually use a cleansing balm and I didn't bring that over here but that's another thing to do when you're doing your makeup you need to double when you take it off makeup double cleanse cleansing balm is good I use the Clinique one wash the day away and I go back in with a soap and then that's it for my nightly routine at moisturizer, a hyaluronic acid, or a retinol or something on the spaces that need lightening and retexturing, and that's it. So this is a everyday ride or die. Great, great, great soap. Focus, dog on it. Focus. Yep. So that's that. Um, love it, love it, love it and okay so you've done all that oh just if you have any nights or you're just lazy um i don't recommend you do this but sometimes it is easier to get your eye makeup off real quick with this and then go in with your cleanser because sometimes you just have to get the mascara off your eyelids and your you want to get like into the brows or whatnot so i found this equate beauty coconut water cleansing towelette i like these and i'm really funny about face wipes they really um some of them are too strong some of them make my eyes burn these are pretty good they're pretty sensitive um i just have to be careful how i wipe my eyes period but these are good um i the scent is really light there is a scent though it smells like it could be coconut water, like the package says. So I really like these. I also like the regular Schmegler Walmart Equate ones. They're really good. Uh, I think it's supposed to be a Neutrogena dupe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and last but not least, make sure you do something to your lips. I have actually two items. Um, let's go budget and let's go bougie. So let's go budget. The aqua, the aqua four. Am I saying that right? Um, it's the immediate relief of very dry lips, lip repair. It says, proven to relieve dryness and smooth, chapped, crack lips. Fragrance-free and paraben-free. So, that's what that looks like. I want to say it's like $3 at Walmart. Um, it's not something that, you know how some lip balms are really soft it is a, a a more stiffer stick but when you put it on and you wear it for a couple of minutes it melts into your lip you know the heat of your body melts it okay so that's my budget that's my two three dollar stuff really good though not like taken away from its quality but then you have your bougie and i'm not even sure how much i paid for this i use this as a treat when i'm doing my spa treatments this is the, um, I don't know 
hope I'm gonna say it right. The Laneige or Laneige. I guess I should learn how to say it before I post it, huh? Can y'all see that? There we go. That is the Special Care Lip Sleeping Mask for All Skin. So it comes with this little spatula and it's a very thick emollient. And this is a newer one. This is my second one I've ever owned. Um, I haven't used it a lot recently because I just keep the other one by my bed. Like I said, this is a treat. This is after I've done a complete facial and I'm like, girl, you this, you that. You know, we're going to preserve this 40-year-old skin. Baby girl. Baby girl. Um, but anyway, um, you use the spatula. Make sure you clean it between each use. Dip out a little bit and put it on your lips. I put it on my fingers and put it on my lips. Um, that way you can control the amount you're using. And it's supposed to be used as a sleeping mask, meaning before you go to bed. Um, I know plenty of women who use this underneath their um, lipsticks. I would say regular lipsticks, not like, not like um, matte lipsticks i would say a regular lipstick with a shine or a lip gloss they wear this underneath that um or they put it on and pat it off and then put on their um matte lipsticks so or not as drying to the lips so i know plenty of women who do that so that is a thing um is that everything i think that's everything so thank you guys for joining me Thank you guys for seeing these products. Thank you, Karma Treats, for sponsoring this video. Um, I have to do a, another order. I'm thinking about when I hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube that I am going to get a couple of them or get a gift certificate um, for or gift card of some sort. Um, so that way you guys can win that as a prize. Um, I'm thinking either at a thousand on YouTube or two thousand on Instagram. I don't know. I'm thinking YouTube. Um, that's closer. So we'll see. I'll figure something out. I might do a whole sponsor pack because I have a couple of black owned businesses that I work with and I would love to be able to give that to you guys and support them all in the same so let me know what you think about that. Um, let me know anything else that you want to see, any other type of skincare issues. I don't have perfect skin, you guys. Um, I don't have wrinkles. I have a lot of texture here. I don't know if you can see. I have no makeup on now. But, you know, I have spots. I have little chin hairs. I have blackheads. Like, I do not have the perfect skin. But I think I look good for 40, you know what I mean? I mean... I could be worse. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. And I hope to see you soon. Don't forget to visit my girl over there at Karma Treat. She is a doll. Um, they will hook you up. Period. Point blank. And don't forget to do what you normally are supposed to do. You're supposed to rate this video. Comment. I want to see you down in the comments. And subscribe if you haven't. Um, welcome if you're new. Um, and hey, my OGs. And what else do I need you to? Oh, that bell icon. Make sure you hit the bell. Ring the bell so you can get notifications on all future videos. And as always, I love you guys. Stay sweet. Stay perfectly you, and in the way this world is right now, just pray on it. That's all I can say. If you don't pray, good vibes. Look at my bun coming out. Good vibes. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.